for most of the 1980s. The public was left wondering if the Pentagon was hiding a secret warplane. It became generally assumed that the stealth fighter was known as the F-19, as the Defense Department had already announced both the F-20 Tiger Shark and the F-A-18 Hornet. When the Pentagon officially acknowledged the existence of the F-117 Nighthawk stealth fighter back in November 1988, it finally ended years of speculation on the part of the media, MSM, and the general public alike. I use quote marks around fighter because the word is a misnomer in this instance, which I shall elaborate upon shortly. The MSM's speculation hit a fever pitch after one of the then still secret planes crashed near Bakersfield, California in July 1986. One of the more creative forms of public imagination about the warplane manifested itself in the form of the Testor's so-called F-19 stealth fighter, 148 scale plastic model kit, which supplanted AMT's USS Enterprise as the best-selling model kit of all time. Shortly after the official Defense Department disclosure of the plane's existence, along came humorous t-shirts sarcastically proclaiming the F-117A to be the U.S. Air Force's best-kept secret. At least one of my high school buddies had one of these shirts. Well, now that the proverbial cat has been out of the bag for 33 years, boy, time sure does fly, albeit not so stealthily. Let's take a look back at the history of this remarkable bomber, or so-called fighter. 117 Stealthy Skunk Slink Secretly Skyward The F-117 was yet another one in a long line of successful warplanes produced by Lockheed's, now Lockheed Martin's, famed Skunk Works program, hearkening black to DARPA's Have Blue program of the 1970s. However, Skunk Works' iconic founding father and mastermind, Clarence Kelly Johnson, had already been retired for six years by the time the Nighthawk made her maiden flight out of Groom Lake, Nevada, on June 18, 1981. The Nighthawk attained operational status in October 1983. As I mentioned above, it's actually a misnomer to call the F-117A a stealth fighter, as she has zero air-to-air -air armament, cannons, and missiles. Would have compromised the radar signature and therefore cancelled out the stealth advantage, and is rather strictly a ground attack plane capable of carrying 2,000 pounds kilograms, worth of laser-guided smart bombs and the nuclear B-61 bomb alike. In addition, the plane was too slow and lacking in maneuverability to go up against true fighters of the fourth generation, such as the MiG-29 Fulcrum, as the plane was subsonic with a maximum airspeed of 684 miles per hour. Mach 092, 100 km per hour, 594 knots. Indeed, the plane was nicknamed Wobblin' Goblin in some quarters due to its alleged instability at low speeds, although some of its pilots have countered that the sobriquet was undeserved. Other unflattering nicknames have included Hopeless Diamond, Roach, and Stinkbug. The Nighthawk Pounces Upon Her Prey While those aforementioned monikers convey the impression of an ugly duckling, the Nighthawk's actual combat performance turned out to be a thing of beauty, akin to another ugly warplane, the A-10 Warthog. Thanks to the collapse of the Soviet Union, the F-117 never got to deploy that B-61 doomsday device. But the Warbird would see plenty of conventional aerial warfare action soon enough, and thus cement her legend in the process. The F-117 received her baptism of fire in the skies over Panama during Operation Just Cause in December 1989. That combat debut was a trifle underwhelming, but that mission was merely a comparative calm before the storm, as in Operation Desert Storm. During the 1991 air campaign against Saddam Hussein's Iraqi regime, the stealth fighter attained virtual overnight stardom. As for most members of the general public and MSM, this was the introduction to the concept and efficacy of smart bombs. Although actually, precision-guided munitions had already been combat-tested during the Vietnam War. The overnight aspect was in some ways quite literal, 
as noted by Dario Leone of the Aviation Geek Club. Tati was first seen as hopeless. Lockheed scientists called the design of the F-117 the hopeless diamond. Diamond, as it had a faceted shape. Hopeless, due to how it is extremely difficult for the aircraft to stay airborne. They had to make the sides flat and angular so that their computer program could quickly minimize its radar cross-section. The F-117 was considered as a black hole in the sky. It was virtually impossible to detect on the radar. Also, its inability to break the sound speed meant that it was extremely challenging to identify it acoustically. Even the matte black paint scheme of the plane ensured that it stayed hidden in the dark, 